Hello everyone. In this video, we will show total carbohydrate determination in a solution using phenyl sulfuric acid method. We will first form a calibration curve and then find the concentration of an unknown sample using this calibration curve. Total carbohydrate in a sample can be estimated by phenyl sulfuric acid, which is a simple calorimetric method. The first step of the method is hydrolyzing the polysaccharides by a sulfuric acid and then they turn into furfural. When an aromatic compound such as phenol is introduced, it reacts with furfural, giving colored compound, ready to be measured at 490 nanometers. The amount of the total carbohydrates in a sample can be easily estimated this way. First, we prepare glucose solutions in which the concentration varies between 0.01 mg per milliliter to 0.2 mg per milliliter. Here, we have also the unknown concentration. Next, we take 1 ml of each specimen into glass tubes. Next, we add 50 microliter of 80% phenyl solution to each tube. Since phenyl is an aromatic compound, it should be stored in dark. In the last step of the reaction, we add 96% sulfuric acid to obtain colored compounds. After that, we close the lids of the tubes and let the reaction be completed at room temperature for 10 minutes. After the complete reaction, we can obtain the color change with bare eyes, as we can see in yellow. The colored compound is ready to be measured at 490 nanometers wavelength. We took 1 milliliter from each tube and transferred into a UV viscuette. Turn on the UVV spectrophotometer and choose applications and then single wavelength. Enter the wavelength as 490 nanometers. Insert the blank. Here we use the glucose free sample as blank. Then measure and record the absorbance of each specimen. First, we open an Excel sheet and enter the concentration of the glucose samples and the absorbance values. We generate a dot plot graph and find the linear curve and the formulation. To increase the correlation coefficient, we can eliminate the outlier value. While x values are a milligram per milliliter of each specimen, the y-axis defines absorbance. When we take the absorbance of the unknown specimen as y-value, we obtain x-value as 0.02 mg per milliliter, which is the concentration of the unknown specimen. In this video, we outlined a colorimetric method for detection of total carbohydrates using sulfuric acid phenyl reaction. We first made the experiment 
and measure the absorbance of each specimen via using UV visible spectrophotometer. With the calibration curve, we determine the concentration of an unknown sample.